We are back with another video, my people. And today we're gonna to be talking about why you will never have the physique that you want. And if you do want to achieve that physique, you might have to change these things or you might have to start doing these things in order for you to achieve the greatest version of yourself physically. So I'm gonna get straight into the reasons. Make sure you like, you comment, you subscribe, all that good stuff and let's go. So the first reason is that you lack consistency. You lack the ability to consistently work towards your goal, to do the same things over and over and over again in order to achieve that result. You are never, ever, ever, ever going to transform your physique if you think going to the gym once a month or twice a week or, you know, any sort of short training session period which you're going through which you think is enough it's not gonna happen. You need to be in the gym consistently. And you don't have to go every single day. You know, you don't have to kill yourself every single day, but you need to be going at least three times a week, at least. And if you're a calisthenics person, then you know, obviously you need to be in the park three times a week. Or if you work out at home, same thing. It needs to be minimum three times a week. You can possibly get away with two. You know, if you're blessed with great genetics, you can get away with two. But for majority of us, it's got to be minimum three times a week. And it can't be just three times a week for a month or, you know, for a couple months. You've got to be willing to put in years, years, if you really want to change your physique, man. It's not going to happen overnight. You understand? It might not even happen after a year or two years that you're really going to see a big change. But if you stay consistent, I guarantee, I guarantee you will start to look very, very different. And when I say a big change, I mean like people notice that, damn, what happened to you? Because, you know, obviously that after 90 days or six months or whatever, your body's going to look different. But it's not going to spark the reaction that you're probably looking for. People are going to be like, hey, I see you in the gym. Like, you're, you know, you're getting a little bigger and stuff. But it's, it's probably not the, the reaction that you really want. So if you really want to transform that physique, man, you've got to be consistent. There's no way around it. Repetition is key, man. You understand? Even when it gets boring, even when it gets tedious, even when you're tired, you have to be consistent with your diet, with your training with your sleeping, with your habits, with your stretching, with your you know water intake, all that sort of thing. If you are not consistent, you are not going to get that physique that you desire, and you only have your and you only have yourself to blame. Only, only, only you can control your level of consistency. Nobody else. Nobody else. That's it. Nobody else. So consistency is the first thing. Address that, then you're gonna start seeing some major changes in your physique. The next one is intensity. Now. Fair enough, you go to the gym three, four times a week. Or let me say, you work out and exercise three, four times a week. If those workouts are not intense enough, that they don't spark a reaction, you know, in your body, in your muscles, in whatever you're trying to work towards, you're not going to see a change. Your workouts need to be intense where your body thinks, what the hell's going on? What are we going through? I'm going to have to recruit more muscle fibers for me to adapt to what this person is trying to do, what they're trying to lift, what movement they're trying to perform, all that other stuff. So your sessions have to be intense. You can't half ass it. You can't like, you're only fooling yourself at the end of the day. Your sessions, you need to be breathing heavy, sweating heavy. You understand? Your heart needs to be beating in that session, man. And I'm not saying every single session, kill yourself. Of course not. But a good amount of your sessions like you, you have to spark that response in your body for it to say okay i'm gonna have to build um more muscles or you know build up more muscle fibers for me to deal with the the trauma that you know i'm put this person's putting you know me through if that makes sense so without intensity man you're not going to get anywhere that's the same everything in life without intensity you're not going to get anything so to transform that physique you need to up your intensity especially if you're not seeing results if you say to me you know i go to the gym four times a week you know consistently for three months or six months and whatever how many long and you haven't seen a change it's probably because your intensity is ass and that doesn't mean working out for two hours three hours whatever that's not intensity no intensity is that every single rep you're making it your best rep 
every single set you're completing it to you know the best of your ability whether that be failure whether that be a certain repetition number whatever but every single one counts once you get into that mindset then you know you'll you'll see your sessions improve you'll see your physique start to change and then you'll be like damn I, I don't know what I was doing before but this is the real deal now you understand me the next thing why is just I see it all the time to be honest is people doing the same body parts over and over and over again like Monday chest Tuesday chest Wednesday chest and then Thursday but bro give that body part a break your body doesn't build muscle while it's working while you're working it your body builds muscle while it's, rela while it's relaxing while it's recovering this is why recovery and and things like that are so important that's why taking care of your body outside of the gym or the park or whatever whatever you do is so important that's when it starts to say you know what i'm gonna build up this muscle stronger so next time when we have to go through that but if you keep continuously beating and beating and beating this muscle you know every single day you're doing chest press every single day you're doing bicep curl every single day you're doing pull-ups your body is not getting a chance to recover and grow and i understand like you might see results in the beginning, but that's because your body, you know, is not used to working out at all. But after a while, you're going to cause yourself some injury. You're going to cause yourself some harm. The joints need to recover. The ligaments need to recover. The muscles need to recover so they can come back stronger. If you're continuously working the same body parts over and over again, it's just going to lead to you stagnating eventually, plateauing, and then you're going to lose motivation and you'll probably stop to be honest like i would stop too if i didn't receive any results i'm working out every day and, I, and i'm not seeing results do you know what i mean and everyone's um work to rest ratio is going to be different some people are going to have to rest you know twice a week some people three times um some people every other day whatever you find is necessary so you need to kind of you know use yourself in the experiment see what are the adamant account of rest that you need in between each session when performing you know certain movements for you to come back better for the next session every session you should not be sore you should not come into every single session sore from the previous workout that means the muscle has not fully recovered and you know people say no pain no gain but be smart or it's going to lead to injury and then you're going to see all your gains go out the window and you're going to start again from you know square one and you're going to have to rely on muscle memory to get you out of this this um hole that you've dug yourself so make sure you're doing your chest make sure you're doing your back make sure you're doing your arms make sure you're doing your legs make sure you're doing your legs because a lot of people will skip out on that you're losing a major gains if you're skipping leg day and then rest recover understand and okay fair enough you just say you want to work out consistently four days and rest I don't know, three days two days whatever try to do different body parts on each day so you do chest then you do back then you do arms then you do shot that way each body part is getting an ample amount of time of rest until you come back to it. You understand? So again, it's just about you gauging where things are, but doing the same exercises every single day is going to lead to a plateau eventually. And you're not going to see any improvements in your strength, you know, in your physique and stuff like that. So be wise and be smart and allow those body parts to recover properly. And then you're going to see all the gains that you want at the end of the day. You feel me? You feel me? And then for the final one, you are not catering to your needs. And when I say this, I mean to say that you are trying to tailor your workouts to somebody else. So you've seen somebody else perform a certain workout or, you know, a certain routine or regime and it's worked for them. And now you think it's going to work for you. You have to remember, you're a completely individual, a completely different individual from that person. So, whereas they may be able to do, I don't know, chest once a week and their chest is swole, big, whatever, blah, blah, blah. They might have great chest genetics. You may have poor chest genetics. So, you might have to hit chest three times a week, two times a week, whatever, how many times, in order for you to get the desired result that you want from your workouts. So, 
again, as I said before, you have to kind of use yourself as an experiment. And I'm not saying you can't get ideas and motivation for our people's workouts, but you cannot do the exact same thing that they're doing in order, you know, to replicate what you want on your body. Everybody's different. Some people have great calf genetics. Some people have great bicep genetics, you know. People have different insertions here and there that gives them this sort of physique that is unique to them. So if everyone's physique is unique to themselves, then you have to make sure that your training is unique to you. And that doesn't mean that you can't work out other people, but let's say for example, you go to the gym with your friend and they got great back genetics and they just got to do three sets of 10 pull-ups and their back is pumped. Yeah, you may not have the genetics like that. So you might have to do four sets of 12 or 15 understand you might have to revisit that workout later on during the week when they might have to just wait until next week to do the same workout and it's just how life is life is not fair you know and sometimes you're going to have to work harder at things than other people but you know at the end of the day it is what it is but i hope you enjoy watching make sure you like your comment and subscribe with that good stuff